Martin Luther University has a major focus in science here in the areas of chemistry and physics with about 20,000 students enrolled in bachelor, master and PhD programs. We address the challenge to increase the sustainability of polymers by developing novel chemical concepts to improve their lifetime and recyclability. A central focus is the synthesis of novel polymers and their application in technology, subsequently used in medicine as advanced structural materials or for novel batteries and transistors. Starting by chemical design and synthesis, we generate novel materials with enhanced properties such as self-healing and vitrimeric behavior. We apply them in biosciences as diagnostic agents or we develop electrolytes for enhanced and safer electromobility. Batteries are the most promising storage devices, for example, for reaching clean mobility. However, the degradation during charging and discharging is one of the major challenges. Developing novel self-healing electrode and electrolyte materials to repair these small internal or external damages is one of the largest challenges. We are developing novel self-healing polymer electrolytes for the new generation high energy density lithium ion batteries to meet emerging demands in electronic, automotive industry and other energy storage systems. We focus on the engineering dynamic self-healing polymers containing reversible bonds like hydrogen bonds, combined with conductive materials like ionic liquids. This leads to self-repairing electrolytes resulting in a sustainable battery system with enhanced lifetime. These materials can also be 3D printed. My research topic here is uh, 3D printing of self-healing materials and multi-component systems. Therefore, we are using a dual printing 3D printer, which consists of fused deposition modeling and inkjet printing, which can deposit droplets on demand. It is not only mechanical friction that can cause damage to a polymer. In electric industry, polymeric resins are used as coating materials, for example, in electric motors. These polymers predominantly suffer from thermal degradation as the motor operates. After investigating the thermal degradation pattern of these resins, we designed a fluorescent sensor molecule that selectively reacts with the main degradation product during this process and thereby changes its color. So every sensor reaction is directly associated with a degradation event and polymer condition can easily be followed by fluorescence spectroscopy. Since conventional methods of polymer analysis are not applicable during operation, our developed inline diagnostic system can offer a valuable contribution to sustainability by preventing unnecessary engine replacements. In medical uh, diagnostics, new methods are developed that use fluorescent dyes, for example, fluorescence imaging or photoacoustic imaging, especially the pump probe photoacoustic imaging. Um, here in our group, we design the fluorescent dyes that are suitable for these methods and also, we pack these dyes in polymeric nanoparticles to make them better for the application, to make them non-toxic, to make them biocompatible. And also, we design them to directly go into the tissue of interest so that only this tissue that we want to see is imaged and not the surrounding tissue. We are designing, synthesizing and analyzing polymers representing key molecules which are widely used in society. These large molecules are known as structural materials in automobiles or aeroplanes, but are used in biomedicine, modern energy or information technology as well. We are an interdisciplinary and international research group with students from all over the world. So we invite you to come here to conduct research in polymer sciences in our laboratories.